We're going to draw the Lewis structure of ClF3 or chlorine trifluoride. I don't want you thinking this is a carbon and an iodine. This is a chlorine atom with three fluorines around it. Now, chlorine and fluorine are both non-metals. That means they're going to combine to form a molecular or covalent compound. These atoms are going to be covalently bonded together. They're going to share their valence electrons. Let's find out how many electrons. Well, chlorine is in group 17, so it brings seven valence electrons each. And fluorine is also in group 17. So that's seven valence electrons each, but there's three of those. Three fluorines, one chlorine. That makes 21 and seven is 28 valence electrons total that we'll have to deal with. Now, there's one chlorine and three fluorines here. Chlorine is going to be the central atom and the three fluorines will surround it. Now I'm gonna draw those in and I'm gonna draw a single bond between the chlorine and each of them because obviously they're held together in a molecule, right? I mean, it's a molecular compound, so they are. Now this is two, four, six electrons that we've already dealt with. Now I'm going to complete the octet on all of the outer atoms first, and I'm gonna make sure that I don't go over 28 electrons because I'm only allowed to use 28 total. Again, we already have two, four, six. So here's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. My fluorines or outer atoms are full. They have a full octet, they're happy. You can't add any more there. But we only have 24 electrons total, I said. We need 28. If you complete the octets on all of the outer atoms and have electrons left over, my strategy is to dump those extra electrons onto the central atom. So here's 25, 26 and 27, 28. Now you may argue that this violates the octet rule for chlorine, and you're technically correct, but the only atoms that I see always uh, satisfying the octet rule are carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, and also silicon. Those are the only five that I really ever actually care about the octet rule for. Um, Chlorine is allowed to have an expanded octet, is what I'm trying to say there. Basically, from phosphorus onward on the periodic table, all of those atoms can have an expanded octet. And this is one example like that. So, yes, this is allowed. Yes, this is the Lewis structure of uh, chlorine trifluoride. And uh, if you're curious, the Vesper notation for this is AX3E2. That's because you have three atoms bonded to the central and two lone pairs as well. Uh, the shape of this used to be called T-shaped, as far as I remember. And uh, the hybridization of the fluorines are all sp3, while the hybridization of the chlorine with the expanded octet, which again requires five things surrounding it is sp3d that was all extra information that you may not have asked for but i gave it to you because i'm a good guy thanks for being with me and best of luck